quick another flip through video of the monthly planner fix. This time we're going to be reviewing or flipping through the March 2021 planner, which I think turned out super cute. I love the colors of this planner. I hope you guys do too. Um, this month's theme is dreaming and we have a bunch of fun little um, extra little pages and things to go along with that theme that I'm really excited about as well. So let's just go ahead and jump right in and get started. So the first thing that you're going to get is obviously the planner. So this is the cover page of the planner. And then the next page is the dashboard page where you can access everything that's inside the planner and see kind of an overview of what's inside. Um, you know, kind of like a content page or an index page. Um, if you, you can click on any of these, every single one of them is uh, linked so you can jump around really easily. Um, and if you click on the actual planner, it will open up the planner. Um, the first page in the planner is the note from the editor, which talks about kind of what's going on with the membership as well as um, why I picked the theme for the month. Um, if you guys are not new to the monthly planner fix it's a subscription that you can get um a, you get a new planner every single month an entire kit with stickers everything to decorate with for that month there's a different theme every month it's really um basically a curated resource for you to use to plan out as well as journal um with your life and so um we have updated a few things with the subscription. So the subscription now includes access to our Digital Planning Academy courses. So if you're new to digital planning, this is a great way to get started as well. If you um, subscribe to the monthly planner, you get access to that as well as a bunch of freebies and extra goodies. So um, I'll put a link down below where you can check out the subscription if you want to check that out. But let's keep going. So on this first page, you have the note from the editor as well as um, some just tips on how you can use the journal and kind of instructions for different pages if they're pages you're not used to. It also gives you kind of an idea of what's inside this planner. And um, the next page is the month at, or the year at a glance page. This is just your yearly calendar page. Um, you can see the tabs on the side as well. Those are all linked so you can jump around really, really easily. Um, after that, you have the future log. We have eight months of these little mini calendars where you can add things in as they pop up so that you can plan further in advance than one month. The idea behind this is that you're just getting something new each month, a different look, a different layout, um, as well as not bogging down your iPad with these huge file yearly files. So um, that's why we limit it to a month planner, but you do have this space here where you can plan out for the future. Um, so that goes all the way to November for the March planner. Um, and then the next page is the month at a glance page. Um, we recently redid this page to include this little area, like kind of bluish area over on the side. And um, this is sized for our widgets. So there are extra widgets in our shop where you can kind of customize this for what you need um, and you have that extra space there and then we also added these little calendar future calendars here in the bottom so you can quickly see what's happening um, further out okay next we have the goals for the year page this is just kind of a big open space for you to write down your goals and you can transfer them over month to month. That's one of the great things about digital planning is that it's really easy to just copy and paste this over and kind of make changes. So you're reevaluating what you're doing every single month, which is great. Um, and then we have these extra pages where you can define your goals. Um, so I take my goals from this and I pick a few to work on um, in the near future. And then I create a plan for those goals on the goal action plan page. Um, after that, you have the February reflection page where you can kind of look back at last month as well as the March intentions page where you can set your intentions for this month specifically. Um, after that, these pages are the curated pages for each month. So they cha do change every single month because this month's plan or because this month's theme is dreaming, all of these pages are have that kind of theme. So um, we have the dream log. This is where you would write down like um, 
a list of things that you are hoping for in the future, like big goals or, you know, things you want to accomplish. And it's really cool. Like I did this last year and it was really fun. You write down, like I'll write down something that I want or a dream that I have and I'll write down when I created it and then coming back to it and seeing how long it took you to accomplish the goal is what's kind of fun about this spread. Um, and then I have a letter here where you can write a letter to your future self about what your hopes and dreams are, where you want to be, um, what your life is like right now. This is really just a creative exercise for you to use as you want. Um, and then you can kind of save this for the future and look back at it in like a year or so and see how far you've come um, and how things have changed. Um, after that, you have a coloring page, which is always super fun, as well as a mood tracker um, with a bunch of different moods. If you haven't used one of these before, um, the way you use the mood tracker is you color in the corresponding number. So if today is the, today is the 3rd of March, um, I would pick my mood today, let's pretend it's happy, and I would choose that color for my pen, or I actually use, like to use the highlighter because it works better for this. And you would just color in that box there um, to mark your mood. And then at the end of the month, you'll have this really pretty, colorful um, layout that can reflect how your month was overall. Um, and then you can also use these same color codes to color that coloring page in so if you're like me and you like everything to be matchy matchy this is a great resource um, but of course you can always just white these out and use your own colors if you want to use something different and um, the next page we have the habit tracker um, the habit tracker the, it's kind of a similar idea with this you write your habit down on the line and then you would color in the boxes as you do them throughout the month and then you can see get a bird's eye view of how successful you were at keeping track or staying on top of your habits that month, as well as we have the sleep tracker where you can keep track of how long, how much sleep you're getting. And I like to, at the end of the month, look at this and then go back and look at my mood tracker and I can see how much my mood is influenced by how much or little sleep I'm getting. <laughs> Um, after that, you have the March bucket list and punch list. This is basically just your monthly to do. So and you can use the bucket list that we provide in the exclusives if you don't want to come up with your own ideas or you can fill them in here. It's just basically, I like to separate your punch list and your bucket list because your bucket list should be things that you really want to get done. They don't have to get done, but they're fun things that you would look forward to doing that fill your cup. The punch list is more like to do's that you have to get done, deadlines, things like that. Um, I separate them because it helps me when I'm planning out my month. Um, and then after that, you have your dream journal. I'm really excited about this page. I think it turned out so cool. Um, it's kind of like our gratitude journal, but instead it is for your dreams. So if you're someone who likes to keep track of your dreams, you're going to love this because you can um, title your dream. You can keep track of the date. You can keep track of like what kind of dream it was, what it meant to you. Um, it's actually just really, really cool. So that is the other curated page that's only included in the March planner. After that, you have your weekly pages. Um, so every week you get three pages. You get the overview page that looks like this. You also get this weekly layout page, and then you get a blank page that you can use to keep track of notes, or you can use it for your daily pages, and I'll show you that in a minute. Um, so this is the overview page. You don't have to use both or all three. You can use this however you want. You can delete the extra pages if you want. I just would recommend you don't delete this page because the overview page is the one that has the links. So if you delete this, then your links won't work anymore, but you can delete the other ones if you don't want to use them and it won't change anything. Um, so you have your habit tracker, your weekly to do's, um, your self care practice, pretty much everything. And, um, I've seen some really cool ways that people have, um, used our widgets to customize this page by, you know, if you don't need the meal plan, you can wipe that out and then add whatever you need to use. So these planners are really flexible, which is what makes them really fun. Um, on the note page, this is where you would add your daily pages. You can use it as a notes page. It's actually really nice to have a weekly notes page. Um, 
I use it all the time just as that. But if you want to use it as a daily page, you can use the inserts from the exclusive kit that look like this and just copy them over. to resize them a little bit. So you can copy them over like this and then you have a daily layout as well that you can plan with um, if you like to keep track of your daily pages. So you have one of the, those three pages for every single week. You can see over on the tabs here you can jump to the different weeks really easily um, and then the home will always take you back to this dashboard page and you also have your to-do list that links from this page if you need more to-dos than just that one page um, you have some extra ones here in the back of the planner um, as well as you have a notes page just a blank notes page you can use for whatever you want um, and then you have a couple more tabs up at the top. These are new as of last month. You have the finance tracker, which has a budget and just an expense tracker included, as well as the um, gratitude journal, which is kind of like that dream journal, but the gratitude journal is included in every planner and it looks like this and it's intended to have a day and an evening section. So you can kind of start your day off on the right foot and end it on the right foot. And then you have just this blank tab that you can use and customize however you want. So that's it for the actual planner. You also get with your planner, you get this huge sticker kit that coordinates with the design of the planner that you can use however you want. So this is the sticker kit for this month. Um, you have tons and tons of stickers to use. And then you also get the exclusive, which we already kind of showed you, but this is the exclusive sticker kit. Um, it comes with a bunch more deco, um, as well as the bucket list of things to do for March, as well as some fun foiled like marker stickers. And then you also have your daily page inserts included in the exclusive as well. So that's what you get with the monthly fix subscription. Um, this is the March edition. I hope you guys enjoyed the flip through video. I hope it gives you an idea of what's included. Um, please let me know if you have questions or if you need anything. I'm always here to help. And thank you for watching. <music>